In this video, I will show you the graphing improvements for three origin plot types, the polar plot, the ternary plot, and the stacked column bar plot. Graph 1 was created by plotting the angle and radius columns. The color of each scatter symbol is determined from the color column. As you can see, negative radius values are shown in the opposite quadrant. Fixed from zero needs to be selected, otherwise the negative radius values disappear. If I double click on my plot, inside the graph layer itself, plot details opens at the layer level, and on the display tab you'll see our default setting is to show negative radius points in the opposite quadrant. Let me go ahead and take a look at another set of data here that has both positive and negative radius values as well. Create a polar plot. And if I double click on this plot and go to the display tab and turn off the show negative radius points, those negative radius values will not be displayed. Let's continue by looking at the stacked column plot. If we wish to stack this data from lowest to highest value, so it would go 3%, 9%, then 12%, again if I double click on my graph, not on the actual columns, but inside the layer itself, so that plot details opens at the layer level, I can go to the Stack tab, and I can check this checkbox here to display column bar plot by sorted order. When I click OK, we'll see now we have the 3, 9, 12, 4, 11, 13. The values are now sorted lowest to highest value. Let's continue and look at the ternary plot. Here we have X, Y, Z. If we double click on this plot, we can go to the ternary tab, and we can reverse the axes by changing the ternary direction. We now have X, Y, and Z. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.